I'm going to tell the secret behind the oral <laughs> smile. And to kick things off, we are going to cement those tiny little discs with a dental composite cement. And uh, we are going to attempt an unofficial world record. Especially for today, we designed a special uh, device to lift high weights. How many weights do you think this dental composite cement can hold? So, let's try for the attempt. Peter, take it away. This is a car of 130,000 euros minimum, so I hope it will work. I hope it will hold. Okay, you're doing fine. It still holds, I think. It still holds. It still holds. Okay, this is amazing. So, let's go inside, and we're going to share some more secrets behind your smile. And just remember, these kinds of materials are made for trained dental professionals, dentists and dental technicians. Ah, hi, hello, hi. <laughs> It worked, fortunately, it worked, it worked. Okay, so uh, let's start. Um, nice to see you all here. So let's start about the secret behind the smile. Um, tooth decay, it's the most common oral disease. Um, but maybe what you don't know is that uh, tooth decay, untreated tooth decay is the world's most widespread disease. One in three people at least today has untreated tooth decay. Um, so, and you ask yourself maybe why do you do the cement uh, story, I will tell you later. It's a little cliffhanger, okay? So hang in there. So also gum disease is a um, common disease. And this is actually severe gum disease is the most, chronic, uh, most common chronic disease in the world. And actually we're talking here about a global health epidemic, which we, I think, are not well aware of. And it's actually really sad, because if we are motivated and we get good professional support, we can grow old with a perfect natural smile, a healthy smile. But it's not easy, because oral diseases are like stealth diseases. You don't get fast feedback loops. So it's not easy to do a good job on that. But we see in science that there is a link, more and more links between oral health and systemic diseases. And this is actually how it should look like. So, beautiful teeth, nice pinky gums. Uh, but this is how it looks like if you have a gum disease. It's an inflammation. And I'm really proud to announce that I can show you an animation by the world's leading experts about the connection between oral health and general health. And let's have a brief look into the world of this connection. So here we have the, uh, the bacteria, and those bacteria, if you have an inflammation, they enter the bloodstream. And this will uh, move within your whole body. So it has a huge health impact if you don't take care of your oral diseases. So finally, years after years, you could have these kinds of like, I think not so healthy situations. So actually it should look like this. It should be perfect and healthy. So the links which are made, I just named three, between oral health and strokes. That's an example, which is uh, cited in literature. But also between oral health and heart disease, and also between oral health and the premature babies, so early babies born. And if this is all, it's already really sad, um, but we see more links than only those three links. We see links in literature, hypothesized links between oral health and 57 systemic diseases. So if we then talk about having a healthy smile, we don't only talk about being happy, but we are talking about trying to become old and also healthy. So why uh, is it so important that we have the right technology that if something goes wrong that we can treat it well? I'm going to try out, I never did it, uh, a pointer on the screen. Hey, it works. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, we saw a cement which can glue, and actually we cannot beat nature with technology. Nature is fascinating. And we can see that uh, the tooth enamel is perfectly bonded to the inner core of dentin. And this is a super stable, nice connection.
But if the tooth enamel is not there anymore, we need dental treatments. And if we need dental treatments, we don't want to cut your teeth as little as possible because we don't have biomaterials which can do the same as uh, nature does. So I just want to give you one little example. If you have a really strong dental composite cement, we can make these kinds of designs, minimal invasive designs. And you can do it in the front of the mouth, but you can also do it uh, in the back. And it looks like this. So it, I think it doesn't look bad. So in the end, you should have the motivation to take care of your oral health. And we in the Western world, we are incredible lucky because we get support from oral health professionals like she. Uh, she is also giving you professional support to understand your situation. But again, let's make a global analysis where we stand today, because that's key if we want to build a future of health together. And then we can look at this picture, which was the start of the uh, climate movement. Let's maybe use this picture also to start a health movement. We know now that 41% of the world's population doesn't have access to a dentist. That means no feedback loops. And it also means that we're talking about uh, 3 billion people. So what can we do? Uh, scaling up dentists and oral health professionals is really difficult. So what we can do is use exponential technologies like mobile devices to motivate people all over the world to take care of their oral health or link uh, professionals to give patients inspiration and feedback loops to monitor their health. So besides sleep, exercise and diet to live healthy, I think you th understand where we will go to. <laughs> what will be the missing link in this list, which is key to have a uh, healthy life, it is actually a clean smile. Keep your smile clean and you have a long and uh, happy life. So that's the motivation I want to bring and the inspiration I want to bring to you all. Try to stay motivated to keep your team clean. For the professionals, I would like to quote Professor Ivo Kretschi from the Geneva University. He says that the future of oral uh, health treatments will be drill-free. And let's move fast to that future. And to round up, thank you guys, to round up, Already in 2009, The Lancet published an article, oral health is a neglected area of global health. So I would say we can use the glue as a metaphor. Let's start working together. Uh, I'm looking really for social innovators with a big heart, working for government, for insurers, for um, corporate companies, health institutes, but especially startups who have the energy to tackle big global problems um, I would say let's start just start working together in an integrated way and then I think we have a beautiful, healthy future. Thanks a lot to the people who supported me with the presentation and thanks a lot for your attendance today.